More frozen water in the pipes, and as uh, we're going to see, more uh, frozen streets as well. The cold temperatures showing no mercy to some residential streets that really look like rough ice rinks. Frozen water in the pipes underneath, inches of ice on the street itself. Yes, some are really very bad. It's tough on the drivers, but city workers spent most of the day trying to break up some of that ice. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays is in a residential neighborhood in Green Bay's west side tonight. And Gabrielle, what are the roads like? Where you are right now. Michelle, I'm on actually careful drive. And if you take a look at these roads, it you should be careful because it's very slippery, it's very dangerous, and if you have to drive or walk on them, it can be treacherous. Now I spoke with some residents earlier today and they're and they talked with me about how they're dealing with these icy conditions. We've lived here about four years now, and this is the worst that we've seen. Trisha Gay lives on Crusade Lane, just south of West Mason Street. She says the roads in her neighborhood are dangerous. There's a stop sign right here. There's just glare ice for a long time. Coming home yesterday, we came down that hill over there, and we, we, we honestly could not stop. We were just kind of pumping our brake. And Gay isn't the only one having a tough time driving. Peter down. Beth That's is just four miles away. His house on Kennedy Drive is east of Highway 41. The ruts are so deep in some places you have to go only about 10 miles an hour. If you don't drive exactly in them, I think it could damage tires. The city has seven road graders and today these two are cutting through the ice. Fluctuating temperatures can be a challenge for Green Bay Public Works. The, the sun is out, nice blue skies like this. It warms up a little bit, it thaws a little bit, and at night it refreezes. So it starts getting icy and slippery, and that's when Public Works has to kind of be on its toes and make sure we know what's going on around the city. Here on Green Bay's west side, some of the residential neighborhoods have roads that look like this. They're almost completely iced over, but the city says they have to focus on the main roads first. The city's policy is we will only plow residential streets if a snow or winter event exceeds two inches in accumulation. And even then, Pierlot says not all roads are automatically cleared. The city will look at the roads and determine which ones need work. Back at Trisha Gay's house, the road graders and tractors are removing ice and snow, something Gay is happy to see. It's really great. It makes me feel a lot safer when I'm driving home. Public Works also told me that it only salts the roads in residential neighborhoods in extreme conditions, and on days like today, they had to salt the roads in some areas. 